Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Zarina, also known as Dr. Z. I am here at 5.30 p.m. I'm probably five minutes behind only because technology didn't want me to be great today. However, we're right here as promised. Um, this is Rebound Your Health TV with Dr. Z. I'm going to wait a few minutes um, for some of those who are in right here at 5.30. Hi, Dr. Cree. Thank you for joining us. This is Rebound Your Health TV with Dr. Z. We're going to be discussing an important topic, I think, for many people. If you have pain, if you know someone that has pain, uh, this is an extremely important conversation today, which the topic is x-ray negative, MRI negative, now what? Okay, so come on into the um, room, come on into the broadcast, please share, share this knowledge, invite at least one person to come on in and um, experience and participate with this uh, broadcast with you so that we can definitely, you know, maximize uh, the information and just be able to share this with as many people as possible. Because as usual, unfortunately, in the medical field, I do think this is a very um, under, um, under, under, under utilized, excuse me, as well as a topic that I'm just not well understood, even by the masses when it comes to um, our other peers when it comes into the medical field. Hi, Ishmael Kadar. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate your presence. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. This is Rebound Your Health TV with Dr. Z. Please invite at least one person. Sharing is caring. And again, if you have pain, you know somebody that has pain, regardless of their age, regardless if it's been acute or chronic, this important conversation, I think it's very, very important. Um, so that as we move forward, you might remember this, or at least in the, in the past on the replay, you'll be able to identify, I mean, go back to this video on the recap to kind of remember some of the topics, I mean, things that I said today. So thank you for joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I invite somebody to the broadcast. Again, on maybe 90 seconds at the most, um, we can talk. How y'all been doing this week? How is, um, well, the weekend, I should say. We're about to enter the week, so that's awesome. And we want to make sure that we have a great information um, for you. Hi, Dr. Manny. How you doing today? Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the broadcast. Hey, John. Thank you for joining us. John Johnson, thank you too for joining us. Welcome to the broadcast. It's Rebound Your Health TV. We appreciate it. Today's, today's topic is going to be x-ray negative, MRI negative. Now what? You're still in pain, right? Or you know somebody that is. They say, they keep telling me, there's nothing wrong. Just keep doing rehab. There's nothing wrong. Take this pill. We want to kind of discuss that and tease that out. What do I think as a specialist, an expert in the field, when it comes to orthopedic and neurological conditions, what do I think, as well as many, many other experts think, um, that is kind of underutilized in the field, okay? Thank you for joining us. Invite at least one person. If you're already here, at least invite one person. You can click down the notification and invite um, where it says share, but you can actually invite people. And don't forget to click the notification below too so that you can be a more, um, alerted to when we're gonna be on here in the future, all right? So I did have a couple of notes today because I wanted to share you guys some um, statistics today, but I'm going to go ahead and get started, okay? Again, y'all know me. I am Dr. Zarina, also known as Dr. Z. Thank you for joining us with Rebound Your Health TV. I am your sports medicine and integrative medicine specialist, which means I don't just treat athletes, I treat the whole body as it relates to muscle skeletal neurological conditions to help you rebound your health and ultimately obtain pain freedom through my concierge practice, telemedicine, public speaking engagements, as well as authoring. That's exactly what I help you do. I will help you reach your pain freedom, identify what's going on with your body so, so you can ultimately have the best life and rebound your health, okay? You can follow me at www.facebook.com uh, forward slash Dr. Zarina, and that's where you can follow me to find out everything we're doing, all the things we're trying to bring to masses and bring to our communities, right, to make sure that you guys are doing just that, all right? So jump right into it. First of all, why am I bringing this topic up in the first place? Well, and it may seem a bit obvious, right? The, one of the biggest reasons is because it's one of the biggest um, things that I hear in, in my office, which is they come to see me, uh, they, they bring me their MRIs, they bring me their x-rays. Sometimes, um, actually more often than not, they're right. The red x-ray and the MRI is red. It's negative, meaning, negative meaning that there was no big, um, hi, Dr. Nicole, thank you for joining us. Welcome to the broadcast. Please invite one person, Shane Miss Karen. Um, yet we're going to try to, um, we'll see that in the MRI negative when I read it. Oftentimes when you bring me those reports, I actually want to see the discs. That's number one, too. Sometimes I'll find little things in the MRI or the x-ray that are more subtle, and sometimes they weren't noted in the imaging report. But more often than not, when it says it's negative, it actually is quote-unquote negative, meaning that there's no overt, big, 
issue going on that to point to why your pain, your hip is hurting, why your shoulder is hurting, why your shoulder, I mean, why your knee is hurting. And then you're kind of coming to me like, I don't know, they got me on this pain pill and this pain pill and this muscle relaxant. I don't know what to do. It makes me loopy. It makes me drowsy. Um, it makes me crazy. I feel like, you know, it's not working anymore like it used to. I get that a lot too. When I first started taking these medications, it was helping, but the longer I take it, it's not helping as much. So I'm always in pain. Um, that's a big one. And then they say, oh no, Dr. Z, I actually have, I did go to therapy. They sent me to therapy. I did everything they told me to do. I was there, um, for six weeks, eight weeks. I went back all these different things. Right. And nonetheless, the images still are saying that it's quote unquote negative, but you're saying, but I'm still in pain and I'm here to tell you I'm the doctor. Um, there's others out there, but specifically for me, I want to hear your voice. Okay. I believe everything that's coming out of your mouth when they tell you that, um, there's nothing wrong with you and you're saying something is, I'm trying, I'm going to try to tap into exactly what is it then? Okay. Part of the, um, the big, big picture here, what I want to discuss is oftentimes, this is a big one guys. So please write this down. Y'all, my MVPs are out there. You're watching me. As soon as you hear some of these big points, I want you to go ahead and type it into the comment section because it's really helpful when people join us that they're kind of reading along and they can kind of follow and kind of catch what we're saying. The big piece here is oftentimes when your MRI or your x-ray is negative, there's another thing that you can do that is underutilized in the medical field, which is called musculoskeletal ultrasound. And that is a means to diagnose other conditions that may not often and conventionally show up on an x-ray and MRI. When you get an x-ray, typically what the physician is looking for is something, some kind of bony abnormality, be it a fracture, um, sometimes you can see some fat pads, some fat issues or some, some signs, I should say, of, of a dislocation and signs, of course, of, um, this, uh, you know, dislocation essentially. But more, more often than not, the main point is that the x-ray is identified for bony abnormalities. Okay. Bony issues. You put that down in the comment, bony, um, x-rays looking for bony issues. Okay. Then MRI is down. I mean, is up, up next, right? MRI is often going to try to look for connective tissue issues, such as if there's a ligament tear or um, tendon tear, things like that, something that's more soft tissue. But what happens with the MRI is it is a static image. And we kind of touched on this last week, but I'm kind of bringing it full circle about what do you do about this after all of that has been said and done. So the MRI is going to show those connective tissue issues, such as tendons and ligaments, but typically it's really like, you know, a big one. If it's very, very tiny and small at the microcosm level, a microscopic level, MRI is not really going to pick that up. Or if it's just, um, just a slight strain or a slight sprain, if you will, they may say that on there, but then you're like, okay, well, it feels like a bigger than that, right? But basically the MRIs don't pick up that either. Why? Oftentimes because the MRIs are static and essentially what that means is that they don't want you to move. So sometimes the best way to pick up an injury that's not otherwise going to be shown in MRI is to actually put you in dynamic movement and want to see you moving in those motions that actually creates the pain. That's what the ultrasound allows us to do. Okay. So MRI, we're going to put down, um, make sure I didn't have any questions after that. Do I have any questions after that? MRI x-ray, do you understand that? Hi, Kesey. Thank you for joining us. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the broadcast. Please share, invite one person so we can, um, share this information together. Okay. That's really, really helpful um, to everybody. Just not the perfect people that's in, in this broadcast listening. Okay. So that's what we said. X-rays are for bony issues. MRIs for, um, I would say moderate to large connective tissue issues. Sometimes you can find them with slight issues, but then you have this muscle skeletal ultrasound. What I often find, hi Chad, thank you for joining us. Mwah. Welcome to the broadcast. Sharing is Karen. Go ahead and read on your health TV with Dr. Z. Go ahead and share and invite one person so we can kind of share all this information together. Um, so the next again, we'll talk ultrasound, but the big take home people about this topic today is what do next? That's the correct question, right? What do we do next? What next Dr. Z? Okay. You told us all that. We heard that last week. If you was watching, you just recapped some of that this week. What next? The what next is when it comes to regenerative medicine. That is it guys. And, um, the big, the big reason I want to bring that to the forefront is not because it's for every single person. It actually is not. I do have to do a very comprehensive evaluation and assessment in my office, as well as a very, very thorough history to identify if it is appropriate for you. But more often than not, what I have found in my experience of over a decade of being a physician is that, and also with high training, you know, high training with 
um, the best of the best when it comes to professional athletes, semi-professional athletes, collegiate athletes, non-athletes, the worker working on the, you know, work the construction worker, the teacher, the nurses, you name it, I've seen it. And, and that's a blessing. So I was able to give this information to you. But what I found more often than not is when that x-ray is negative, when that MRI is negative, and we've, I've been able to, I've utilized the ultrasound machine to put it that on that area of concern, and you haven't paid for all this time, you've been on those pain pills, pain pills, excuse me, or just can't quite get out of it, that's when it comes down to regenerative injection therapies, regenerative medicine. And hi, Andrea, thanks for coming. Um, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. And a couple of statistics that I wanted to point out to you guys about regenerative injection therapy. All in all, um, it, does, it is highly endorsed by the American Academy of um, Orthopedic Medicine. Also highly endorsed by American Academy of Pain Management. Also endorsed by American Academy of Interventional Pain Physicians as a viable option and even sometimes preferred option in the cases of patients who have unresolved pain issues and are on the brink of subacute or chronic pain. So huge, okay? So, so huge. Hi, Ronnie. Thank you for joining us. That's a very, very important piece of that because oftentimes some people kind of like, I don't know what that is. I never heard of it. My doctor never mentioned it. And the reason you don't hear it often in your regular physician offices is because they don't know as much about it. And I tell you, this conversation that we're having today, which is awesome, I'm glad that some of my colleagues and physicians have joined me today because this information is not just for the patient, right? It's educating everybody about the importance of sometimes you can only diagnose what you um, know, but if you don't know it, you can't diagnose it, right? I say that oftentimes to my mentees, to my students. Hi, Ashley, thank you for joining us because that's a very, very important point. My mentor told me the same thing. What pushed me, that, that moment, that statement alone, you can only diagnose what you know, at the end of the day, that means I have to broaden my I have to broaden my view. I have to broaden my toolbox. My toolbox can't have four or five things in it. I have to be able to reach you where you are, tap into what your belief systems are, but also understand the anatomy, the physiology, and at the basis of that, how does injuries heal? How do how do how do you get rid of pain? How do you minimize pain? How do I help you reach your pain freedom? That's what this is all about, MVPs. Every one of you that's watching right now, you have taken a step, so you have an MVP mentality because you're here today. And I want you to know that there's other options out there for you and your loved ones that go beyond pain pills, that also go beyond um, feeling like you just kind of going in a circle hamster wheel with rehab. All of those things are important. Not me not make the mistake, and I want you to hear me just think that I'm saying pain pills should never happen, you know, should never take a pain pill or should never have rehab. That's actually not what I'm saying. But there are a large category of individuals in America, especially, that have done all of that and they still have pain. The reason is because conventional medicine, when it comes to treating pain, typically, especially when it comes to tendons and ligaments um, and connective tissue, those things that I just told you that often don't show up that well on um, MRIs and x-rays, is that conventional medicine is trying to treat that, such as pain pills, such as sometimes steroid injections, right? We've heard of all those. They incompletely or insufficiently return you to um, function or return you to um, true pain, um, significant pain reduction in an incomplete manner. And so we're kind of left lost as the medical field sometimes, right? And this is where this comes into play. Reject, regenerative injection therapy. Somebody write that down for me. And it doesn't have to, if you don't know how to spell it, that's fine too. But just the idea, regenerative injection therapy. Any questions so far? I want to make sure I'm not, sometimes it's a delay, guys, just with um, the questions because I guess it's just a delay, which is fine too. Um, but make sure that if you're getting your questions in, if somehow there's a delay before I can actually answer it live, I will always go back to the comment section to make sure I reply to your questions in the comment section after the broadcast, okay? So definitely know I'm here and I'm definitely watching for your questions and I'll be ready to answer them if I somehow can't get to them in the video, okay? So that was a, a big piece of that. Then essentially what does a regenerative injection therapy do? It stimulates your own body to heal itself. If that, that was be the simplest way to um, define regenerative injection therapy. Or you can even put in the comment section, RIT. Hi, Jamari. Hi, Ashley. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the broadcast. Jan is caring about one person so they can hear this information with you, okay? Um, it stimulates the bodies to heal itself. Somebody type that in. Man, my MVPs, I know you guys are watching out there. You're right there in the comment section ready. Write that down for me. RIT stimulates the body to heal itself. Okay, very, very key. And what parts of the body can it um, help in, uh, regenerate and help to um, heal? Joints, joint pain, tendon, ligaments, spine, 
and even muscle or the muscle attachments, which is often a very um, key area where this is often an issue, okay? And what do you think of sprains and strains? Like, oh, that's just a sprain. Oh, that's just a strain. But what happens and what we found in the literature and the research evidence-based medicine supports is that after you have an injury of a sprain or strain that's supposed to be so simplified, right? It actually only heals to 50 to 75% of its pre-injury strength. What that means in layman's terms is if you 100% strength of your tendon and ligament before you injured it, once it heals and you do nothing else to it, right? That's with no intervention whatsoever. It only heals about 50 to 75% of its pre-injury strength, which typically means you gotta do, the body needs something else to kind of help it along. That's where regenerative injection therapy or RIT comes into play because it helps stimulate the body to heal itself. What are some types of that we're using? Real, the bigger ones that are out there that you might have heard about, if you haven't, you'll hear them. Bone marrow transplant is, um, from, your, um, from your own bone marrow, where they draw that from your bone marrow. They spin that down and, re and retrieve the growth factors that are going to lay down the collagen, okay? Then PRP, which also stands for platelet-rich plasma, okay? And that's also drawing your blood. Spin that down and draw the platelets to go into right to that specific area of injury. And it's your own platelets, right? So that's, there are all of these things are very natural substances that are occurring in your body anyway. Put that at the area of injury and it helps create a, like, a slight inflammation process, which is critical for healing actually. Sometimes inflammation gets a bad rap. And even so, sometimes you might feel there's a contradiction, right? When I'm talking to you guys about anti-inflammatory foods, that is extremely important because also a lot of anti-inflammatory foods typically have a high alkaline um, properties too, which is very crucial for your overall um, blood as well as your overall system to stay in a very healthy and balanced manner. But that doesn't contradict what I'm stating here as it relates to the microcosmic inflammation that we want to happen at that area. Why is that important? It's important because it allows for blood to rush to the area. Blood is life, guys. If you have no blood flowing there, no blood supply, then it can't heal fully. And typically what we know um, is very well known, very well studied, that tendons and ligaments have a low, the, themselves in general, have a low blood supply compared to muscles and the bone marrow, which are high blood supply. So that's why tendons and ligaments and the connective tissue and the fascia tend to heal a little bit more incompletely without a little help. And that's where RIT comes into play. Any questions, guys? Let me stop for one second, make sure I'm hitting you guys' questions. RIT stimulates the body health to heal itself. Y'all rock. Yes, yes, yes. My MVPs are on point. Absolutely. Y'all got it. RIT stimulates the body heal itself. So, all right, so that was what we talked about. And then the versions of RIT are, we talked about PRP, we said also um, bone marrow. Sometimes you use fat transfer from your own body, as well as ozone, which is um, still being studied, I say, but you will see people out there using ozone. Prolo, and Prolo is another version of that as well, which they use natural substances, sometimes vitamin B12 or um um, sodium aureate, fancy words, dextro solution, but they're natural substances um, that go into that area as well. Sometimes people get a little queasy about drawing their own blood and putting it right there. Although it's very safe and very natural in the right hands of a specialized and expert and that's, you know, specialized in the training and have the training, very, very safe um, procedure to do regardless of all those areas. Okay. So those are the different versions. You have Prolo, PRP, somebody write that down, Prolo, P-R-O-L-O, you have PRP, okay, that's platelet-rich plasma, but you can just put PRP in the comments. Then we have fat, write that down for me. Then we have um, bone, marrow, bone marrow, okay, that's four. And then uh, also, oh, ABI, we almost forgot that one. ABI stands for autologous blood injection, which essentially is the same thing as the PRP, except they don't spin it down quite as fine, um, but it still has the same effect, except this. Um, the mechanism is slightly different, but the idea behind the microinflammation at that area to stimulate growth and laying down new collagen, right? It's going to lay down new collagen, and then it also is going to stimulate the, for the growth factors and such and fibroblasts to be in that area to or, um, lay down organized connective tissue. Because after an injury, it's disorganized. Hence, it didn't right, quite be able to feel fully, excuse me, um, completely heal itself um, back to its 100% strength. And that is the goal of RIT and often in the, in the 90, low 90s to mid to high 90s percentile actually where people get um, complete, complete uh, recovery. And when I say complete recovery, what I'm speaking to is function, right? Your pain is reduced and you also improve your function. Because sometimes people have incomplete where they have pain pills, right? 
their pain is being reduced, but they're not really back to their full function. Or they kind of function a little bit, but everything is still subpar. That goal of the RIT, and often I've been, thankfully and humbly, um, very successful at getting my patients um, in the 90 percentile, 90 Five percent, ninety, I was maybe ninety-three, but I'm very, very high percentile of um, getting you back to your full function, and that's really, really key. I take pride in that, which is why I'm so careful and specific about who I recommend that for. It's not for every single person, but many people is going to be safe for. If you're in that category of I have pain and it's not going away, or I have pain and my MRI was negative, my X-ray was negative you're typically going to be a candidate and I want to bring that information that knowledge point to you because most of you who um, hear that information, your x-ray is negative, your MRI is negative, you don't know what to do next. All you know is I got some pain pills, I got some muscle relaxes, and I'm supposed to live with this for the rest of my life. And here, Dr. Zarina, boy, is here, okay? You guys are my MVPs. You're your own VVP. When you're in that room, you're the most valuable person. Nothing else matters. And in your own life, you have to be that as well. And that's what the goal of Rebound Sports and Rehab and what I'm trying to do with, um, as Dr. Zarina for you, Dr. Z, is to help you identify those issues so that you can rebound your health and have your best life and have true pain freedom. Okay? So any questions? Let me go to the questions again. Make sure I didn't leave anything out as well. We talked about a lot of good things. Um, any questions? It's a delay. Like I said, let me make sure... There we go. Prolo PRP. Thanks, Ashley. You rock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Do most insurances cover these types of therapy? Great question. The answer to that is no, um, which is why. Hi, Zakia. Thank you for ask, Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the broadcast. That's a great question. The real, the real tr truth is that most insurances don't cover it, and the reason they don't cover it typically is because, um, to be honest with you, it's one of the more natural element of treating pain. So. There's political reasons for that, um, not so much science-based because the science is there. It's been uh, prolo and regenerative injection therapy has been used since the 40s, really, since the 1940s, um, and maybe even before that in other, you know, other substances being used. But that's a great question. Most institutions don't cover it, but at Rebound Sports Rehab, we make it very, very affordable. If you search the um, web and you're looking for injections like this or these kind of therapies, I should say, um, because you might be a candidate. I promise you, um, we're very we're affordable. We have payment plans as well um, to make sure that we can bring this to the masses. Because I'll go back. I'm glad you asked that question. Because a, cru a, a crucial point about this is with my background, like I said, I was afforded to um, uh, be able to treat and manage and be sports medicine uh, team doctor and things like that for uh, people who are very valuable, so to speak, right? And that's where all my training was. They had the access. Right, money in so many ways was not an issue. When I left uh, those different um, organizations, um, just because of relocated, uh, was most was really kept weighing on me that it wasn't accessible to regular people. You know, to people who didn't have, didn't wear the New York Knicks jersey, or didn't wear the Eagles jersey, or didn't wear, you know, Olymp didn't have USA Olympics on their on their shirts. Like I really, it really bothered me, honestly. That's that's me being really authentic with you guys. That it bothered me that that wasn't ex as more accessible to regular people, so to speak. You know, my teachers, my um, even my professionals, my execs. You know, quite frankly, one, two reasons why it wasn't as accessible. One, because people didn't know about it, right? And two, because it was really, really, really expensive. Those are the two main reasons. So what I had to do with my um, practice was to try to figure out how I could have a practice, right? But still bring access to to my community, to the society of you know people who have pain and they deserve to have the same relief that um, Michael Phelps gets. They deserve to have the same relief that Tiger Woods gets. They deserve to have the same relief that Chad Ochocinco gets. You know, you deserve that. Your MVPs too. Doesn't matter. Your MVPs of your life, and you need to be highly optimal in maximizing your life, your life, rebounding your health so that you can maximize and be the best you in your life. So it's definitely a great question. And that was kind of a good way for me to tell you all that, I guess. And that's why I appreciate you asking the question because it allowed me to explain exactly our intentions, our goal as well. Let me make sure there's more, no more questions. And otherwise, we'll wrap it up. Again, some of these are delayed. 
with the questions, guys. So I'm going to go into the comment section. Please don't worry. As soon as this is over and I click stop, I'm going to go into the comment section to make sure I answer any further questions, okay? Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the broadcast. I saw somebody just join. Thank you, guys. Revive Your Health TV with Dr. Z. I'm here for you. Going to be here every week. I don't see any more questions, but that doesn't mean you didn't write them down. Again, I mean, you didn't type them in. I'm going to come back to you um, as soon as we're done here, okay? So I hope there was a informative. I hope this is an informative uh, talk with you guys today, broadcast. Um, I definitely will talk more about this um, because I think it's such a crucial, again, underutilized um, me uh, medical treatment and practice. Um, but it's becoming bigger and bigger, meaning that more physicians are becoming aware of it so they can refer their patients to uh, specialized physicians who have been trained to do so. Hi, Carrie. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the broadcast. And I am one of those, okay? So you guys can definitely visit my site at www.rim-group.org to find out more information about regenerative medicine and how we at Rebound Sports Rehab can um, further help you. Please don't forget to follow me at www.facebook.com forward slash Dr. Zarina. I am your sports medicine and integrative medicine specialist here to help you rebound your health, ultimately obtain pain freedom through my telemedicine and come to your practice, as well as my speaking engagements and authoring. Okay, you can follow me again at www.info. I mean, facebook.com forward slash Dr. Zarina. And if you would like to schedule a no, com you know, no com commitment um, consultation with me, um, you can also email us at www.info at drzarina.com. Okay. This is very, very important, guys, because you, uh, you could get about info, info at drzarina.com. My sorry, my brain went. I'm going to give you all the right email. <laughs> All right, but if you would like to have, you know, no commitment type of thing, free consultation with me, um, please do email me so we can get further, tease out some things and see if you need to come in for a full consultation um, with me to make sure we can get you right to where you want to be, which is at your MVP status, okay? Thanks for God watching me. Again, email me at info at drzarina.com. That's info at drzarina.com. I-N-F-O at drzarina.com to eat and schedule your uh, consultation, free consultation, 15-minute consultation to identify if there's any other issues that we could further help you with and tease out some things or at least point you in the right direction. Wow. You guys are great. I'm going to get to the comment section. Thank you for joining me this um, Sunday evening. You guys have a great week, and I'll see you guys next week. Wow.